Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway, and I'm the preacher here at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. We're in Jeremiah chapter 13 today. Jeremiah chapter 13. I'm going to read a few more verses than I usually do today because I believe uh, to get it all together is going to help explain it. So we're going to read verses 1 through 11. Jeremiah 13, 1 through 11. He says, Thus says the Lord said to me, Go and buy yourself a linen waistband and put it around your waist, but do not put it in the water. So I bought the waistband in accordance with the word of the Lord and put it around my waist. Then the word of the Lord came to me a second time, saying, Take the waistband that you have bought, which is around your waist, and arise, and go to the Ephrates, and hide it in a uh, crevice of the rock. So I went and hid it by the Ephrates, as the Lord had commanded me. After many days the Lord said to me, Arise, go to the Ephrates, take from there the waistband which I commanded you to hide there. Then I went to the Ephrates and dug, and I took the waistband in the place where I had hidden, and lo, the waistband was ruined, and it was totally worthless. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thus the Lord, thus says the Lord, Just so I will destroy the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. This wicked people who refuse to listen to my words, who walk in stubbornness in their hearts, have gone after other gods to serve them, to bow down to them. Let them be just like the waistband, which is totally worthless. For as a waistband clings to the waist of a man, so I, so I made the whole household of Israel and the whole household of Judah cling to me, declares the Lord that they might be for me a people for renown, for praise, and for glory, but they did not listen. And so as you're, you're reading through these verses, he, he gives an illustration. He gives the example of this waistband that he commanded them to take, and take it tight around your waist. That's where the waistband's supposed to be, around your waist. And it clings to you, where you go, it goes but then the waistband, when not with him and not being taken care of, he takes it and he hides it, digs it, buries it, and, and leaves it alone. And then you come back to it and, and it's been destroyed. It's been destroyed because it was not being taken care of. It did not cling to its master so that it could be washed, so that it could be uh, make sure that it was taken care of, that it wasn't just uh, rotten in the ground. And so God uses this example and he says, well, this is how Judah and Jerusalem is. This is my people. If they were to cling to God as they were supposed to, they'd been taken care of. They'd been going where God goes. They would do as God commanded. And the Lord would take care of them. The Lord would keep them clean. The Lord would make sure that they are not destroyed. But instead, they did not listen. They did not cling to the Lord. And so the example for us today is, of course, that we need to cling to God. That we need to make sure that we are like a waistband around our God. Where he says to go, that's where we go. Where he says to stay away from, that's where we stay away from. When we search the scriptures and we see the things that need to be applied to our lives and into our hearts, we need to make sure we do those things. But of those things that he says is an abomination, that is a sin, that, that will not enter into the kingdom of God then we need to stay away from those things. And so let Jerusalem and Judah be an example to us of how we should live our lives and keep on clinging to our Lord. I want to thank you for joining me. hope you have a blessed day. If the Lord is willing, I'll talk to you later.